Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and today I would like to introduce you to uh, XML uh, and Visual Basic 6. So basically we're going to talk today about how to open XML document or read XML data in Visual Basic 6. Keep in mind that this video tutorial uh, can be applied in C Sharp and C++ just to use a different syntax. And today we're going to uh, use MS XML um, version 6.0 which is component uh, by Microsoft and it's a freeware for software developers that developing applications under Windows operating systems. And today we're going to use that. So, so the first thing what you gotta do you need to go ahead and uh, download your uh, MS XML uh, 6.0 component or any MS XML components. I suggest you download version 6.0 but keep in mind that this tutorial will work with any of those versions even the earlier. So just go on Google and um, Just go on Google and on Google uh, just type MS XML 6.0 and click search and it's going to bring you to a Microsoft.com websites downloads. If you will click on this link, you will see that you can download the MS XML 6 um, um, setup file, which is 1.5 megabytes. You need to download that, and you can also download some other versions. Go ahead and I just go ahead and download the MS XML 6. Okay, it's gonna work with, as you can see, it's pretty much standard and it's going to work with anything out there. After you're done with that, you need to run Visual Basic 6, install MS XML 6.0, restart your computer, and then start the Visual Basic 6.0 and by the way I'm recording this video tutorial today with Moroz Video Capture the little program that was developed by me by Alexander Moroz uh, to capture your desktop screen like to make your own video tutorials to teach your grandma or your uh, kids of IT and computer or you can also capture your Playing your favorite games using Moros Video Capture, a little neat applications. Um, uh, application. I'm gonna put the in the description uh, in the video description. I'm gonna put the link where you can get more information about it. Okay, you just start the uh, click file, new project, and you need to start standard executable project. It's going to look like this. And uh, the next thing which you gotta do, you gotta add the MS XML um, component to your um, project, and it's not the ActiveX. It's a little bit um, tricky way how to add it, and I'm gonna show it to you in a second. And by the way, while I'm doing this tutorial, um, I developed. Um, out of data for my application using this method, this strategy that I came out with, and uh, it was kind of painful for me. It took me three hours of research how to do this and um, how to how to implement and how to read the XML in Visual Basic and implement the logics uh, for my strategies and write my own logics. It took me about three four hours, and that's why I would like to share with you. So it's not going to take you that long. So please rate this video if you like it. I know there is some of those beginner programmers out there or even advanced programmers that will find this tutorial very neat. So, and um, we just create the executable file and uh, form one we're gonna call it XML reader using MS XML. So, 
you're about to learn how to create XML reader that's gonna uh, read any XML documents or data okay step number two we're gonna add the MS XML component so you need to go project references click on it and you need to go ahead and select uh, Microsoft MS XML 6.0 just go ahead and scroll down the list and select uh, your version it's going to be somewhere in the middle so as you can see I found it somewhere in the middle of the list it's called the Microsoft XML version 6.0 and I have some other DLLs I just downloaded some other packages from Microsoft website but you will have the version 6.0 or if you will download some other version you will have that version over here but you're looking for a Microsoft XML and uh, keep in mind you need to install the package first restart your computer and then run the Visual Basic 6 so as you can see its location is MS XML 6 DLL over here in the system 32 after you install that gonna click OK and it's gonna add this MS XML 6.0 DLL um, component into our project now we gotta just uh, specify it I'm gonna put public XML reader this is the uh, variable that I would like to act as the XML reader as new DOM document DOM document is a document that have ability to uh, read the XML files and to read the XML data um, and write the XML data and write the XML um, files it also has the ability to read the XML files over the distance using the HTTP so let's say I can read the files XML files in my project on some web server as well as I can read the XML files on my local disk so this is step number one so basically what we did we just said the XML reader gonna act as new DOM document and I just explained to you what is DOM document means so then we're gonna click on our form like so bring it to visual and uh, click on it and it's gonna create the private sub form load and over here we're gonna say that XML reader dot async equal false like so and what does that mean um, it means that if XML reader not gonna load the whole data from that file into its memory that variable uh, allocated memory then it will generate an error so basically it's just double make sure that the XML reader will receive the whole XML data from that file that we're going to uh, point it to so I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna load the whole document the whole data from that document. Now let's go ahead and put the comment. Load the whole XML file data. Make sure to load. Make sure to load then I need to set uh, the URL or the uh, file path where we would like to grab this document from and to do so I'm gonna say XML reader dot and select go through all those properties and select load XML and what it's going to do it's going to load XML from certain path and the path needs to be a string as you can see string means can be numbers and letters and uh, I'm gonna say 
double quotes because it's a string the address of my XML file and uh, I upload that file over my web server and I already know the address so basically I type this in as you can see and I'm gonna close it like so so what's gonna happen now now XML reader uh, using the load XML property will load the XML file text test XML which is I, I have for you over here the whole this file and data it will load into the XML reader okay so we're gonna receive the data and um, let me demonstrate you what we're gonna do so we're just going to go ahead and uh, implement make our window a little bit bigger by holding your mouse by those uh, blue dots and uh, basically just scroll it like so about this size and um, we're gonna just place a text box text one let's call it XML data okay like so so now 